So here's another supposition. Suppose Z actually uh, Z is expressed implicitly. implicitly by f of x, y, z, like so, okay? Where, in other words, i.e., z is f of x and y. So x and y are independent, but z uh, is, is not. And we want to differentiate implicitly with respect to, we want to find the, uh, the partial derivative of z with respect to x and y, okay? We want to derive expressions, expressions for, uh, del z, del x, and del z, del y, implicitly. And we'll do it on the next page. So as we did before, we take this, uh, actually, I, I should include here, f of x, y, z equals 0. Okay, so <clears throat> we accomplish that by differentiate uh, f of x, y, z equals zero implicitly, the same way that we did with the two variable deal. Okay, so what do we end up having? Well, we'll have del f del x, okay, and then we'll have del x del x plus del f del y, del y del x, and then plus del f del z, del z del x, and then for, uh, and all of it equals zero, and then <coughs> we, we do it with respect to uh, to y, so this will be w, r, t, x, and now with respect to y, we'll have del f, del, uh, del x, del x, del y, plus del f, del y, del y, del y, plus del f, del z, del z, del y, and this will be equal to zero, okay? So what happened? <coughs> let's call it one and two, okay? So let's look at, w at one. Uh, del x, del x equals one. Del y, del x equals del y, del x, del y, since x and y are independent, then both equal zero, and del y, del y equals one. And now, if you look at one, one will give you del f, del x, this is zero, plus del f, del z, times del z, del x, equals zero. So, del z del x equals negative del f del x divided by del f uh, del z. Or, we can write it as negative f sub x divided by f sub z. No surprise over there. And two, del f del y, if you look at the second one, this is zero, this is one. Okay, so what we have left is uh, del f del y 
plus del f del z del z del y equals zero and therefore del z del y equals negative f sub y divided by f sub z. Okay. So we have these two result del z del x equals negative f sub x divided by f sub y and del z del y equals negative f sub y divided by I'm sorry yeah this is f sub z and this is f sub z So let me give you a quick example from the homework, okay, which Kyle already did, but given uh, y z equals natural log of x plus z, we need to find <coughs> del z del x and del z del y. And I feel after giving this example, I can include this in the test. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, the solution. What is the first thing we need to do? Huh? <laughs> Define the function f of x, y, z. Remember, this is the same equation set up in such in a standard form, so it will be y z minus natural log of x plus z equals zero. And now the do implicit differentiation. So they left the legs. I forgot which homework. Now I think it's problem number nine in your homework. They left the legs. The derivative of y z. There is nothing here. So and this is f sub x will be zero. And then here we have 1 over x plus z times the derivative of x plus z is 1. So it's negative 1 over x plus z. And we are done with that one. And now we need also to find, uh, for this expression, <coughs> we need to find f of z. Well, that will be something that we're going to need to use anyway. the derivative with respect to z, we have y minus 1 over x plus z. Let me simplify it, and it would be y times x plus z minus 1 divided by x plus z. Okay? And now we are ready. Uh, we're going to say that the f, uh, I'm sorry, No, del z del, del z del x, I'm good, del z del x, I lost track for a second, equals negative f sub x divided by f sub z, keep doing the same thing. Okay, so we have, on top we have uh, negative, let's write it here, negative 1 over x plus z, like so. divided by this expression right there. y x plus z minus 1 divided by x plus z. Okay, So we can see the simplification here. This will be negative 1 over y times x plus z minus 1. Okay? Uh, negative, so it will be positive. Double negative. Okay? Now, what do we need to complete? We need the partial del f del y. Or f sub y. Okay? So we're looking at this, and we have z minus 0. So simply z. There is no y here. Wow. 
So del z del y equals negative f sub y divided by f sub z. So it's negative z divided by uh, y times x plus z minus 1 over x plus z. So it's equal to negative z times x plus z divided by y times x plus z minus 1. So that's it. Uh, this is one less homework problem for you to do. And uh, we'll get together tomorrow for review for the test. If you can make it, 5.30. Please send me, if you can, uh, as soon as you run into a problem from the packet, send me an email on the regular email, not, not on, uh, on web assigned email. Let me know that you're going to ask for this particular problem to be shown on the review, and I'll do it. Okay? <coughs> Attendance coming up. Don't leave before uh, signing in.